Hello, I'm Gordon Richard with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. Once a servo system has been sized and connected to the load, the velocity and position loops will need to be tuned. One of the major benefits of using the performance servo tuner is the speed at which it can accomplish this task. I hate to use the phrase, in the olden days, because it wasn't that long ago we were carrying an oscilloscope and a pack of resistors and capacitors with us into the field to tune the velocity loop. The system to be tuned is a very compliant two-stage belt system with an inertia ratio of 50 to 1. The belts have been tightened to the manufacturer's specifications. The units have been set up for a disc using the mechanical position of the load rather than the position of the motor and a 2.7 to 1 gear ratio. Using the default gains for the system, a short program was written to move the load out 360 degrees and back to zero with a dwell between the moves. The scope plot captures the move. In the plot, it can be seen that there is a lot of following error between the commanded move and the actual for the velocity and position. Before tuning it, it is always a good idea to capture a Bode plot of the system. Capturing a plant plot, which is a response of the system without control of the drive over the system, will provide the mechanical DNA of the system. Any mechanical performance issues will be clearly displayed in the Bode plot. In our plot, the two belts can be clearly seen in the data with anti-nodes at 60 Hz and 350 Hz. These are the points at which the system will think it has been disconnected from the load and motion is lost. At 150 Hz and 500 Hz are the nodes. At these points, any motion will be amplified, causing overshoots in the move. At this point, an auto-tune will be performed on the system. The current can be set automatically or manually and injected into the current loop. The excitation is PRB, or pseudo-random binary. It should be noticed that the Bode plot does not change after tuning, since tuning has no effect on the mechanics or the plant plot. Returning to the scope, we captured the same move as previously recorded. Looking at the before and after, the effects of the performance servo tuner can be clearly seen in the results. Keep in mind this is a two-stage belt system with an inertia ratio of 50 to 1. The performance servo tuner, when in auto-tune, makes measurements and calculations while turning on filters and adjusting their set points, adjusting feed forwards, and setting up the integral and proportional gains. What once took several hours to set up and adjust can be done now in minutes. Finally, while it does a great job on most systems, there are, however, some systems that will elude the auto-tuner because of the complexity of the mechanics or the compliance of the components. For these, manual tuning must take place. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. Please join us for our next video.